What's going on guys? It's your boy Sarar and today we are going to start a brand new series on this channel called Random Car Ranked. As the name suggests, we are going to be playing ranked in a randomly preset car. So basically all we're going to do is go over here, click new preset, and then just click this randomize preset button. And whatever we get, that's what we're going to run with for two or three games this episode. So here we go, let's check it out. Oh my god. Is that... What car is this? This is the Artemis GTX in Cobalt. I got the party hat on. And I think that's the... What, what, e what even flag is that? I got the Northern Ireland flag. I got the luck of the Irish on my side. Now, I haven't played much with the Artemis. I've played a few games with it, but nothing crazy. But honestly, it doesn't feel that bad. I tend to do well with flat cars, to be honest with you. Even though I'm mainly an Octane main. Like, I, I do play well with these cars, so... Who knows? This could be... This could be decent. This could be decent. So we'll we'll see how these games go. So for this series, I'm going to vary it up every now and then. And, you know, if a buddy's online, maybe we run some twos in a random car. But for now, I think I'm going to just run some solos. I don't play ones much. Uh, as you can see, I'm only Diamond 2 Div 1. But we'll try a couple games. We'll try two or three games of solos and see how it goes. Try out the Artemis GTX. All right, so we got Gen Drown. Gen, Gen Drown. Yeah, sounds about right. Oh, these colors are so bad. Circuit board on this side? Okay. I lost the kickoff. But it's fine. I know he's gonna keep pressure up, cause he can, he has boost control. Now that he doesn't have boost control, try and catch him off guard. Almost, good save. Try for a double touch. There we go. This car is really good in the air. I don't know where he's at. <laughs> I was gonna just slow dribble that, but then I didn't see him in net. Try and stop it from going in front of net. Got a decent 50, we'll grab the boost. Try and just bang that home. Perfect. Got a good air dribble right there. That is a bad kickoff. Unfortunately, the nature of ones is that kickoffs are really everything. You could be the most mechanically skilled player in the world, but if you don't know how to do a good kickoff, you're probably going to struggle. I'll just dribble. And I fake challenge one too many times there. Unfortunate. I should have just gone for ball. But 
I wanted to get him out of position in net. He's probably going to turn on it. Now that was a good time to fake challenge. Wait for his touch. Oh, I choked it. I need to stop going for air dribbles. Or I mean for like ceiling shots and stuff like that. It just doesn't work out in once. I need to learn to stay grounded. Tried to bang that home. And I got a really bad hit on that. I, I more wanted to send that across. I just jumped a little too early. Got a good kickoff, though. Got his boost, too. Got the boost steal from him, and was able to bang it on net. One of the biggest keys to once, too, is just being able to control your boost. And just have boost control in general on your opponent. Like right now, I know he doesn't have a lot of boost. I can dribble. Not a great dribble. I never... I, I. It's hard for me to get it on top of this car, to be honest with you. He's probably going to turn. Yeah. I'm doing it again. There we go. Didn't try anything fancy that time, just a simple air dribble. I was going to do the trick there. Oh my, did I just own goal? Nah, we're fine. Wow, really good job of him to get back to that, honestly. Damn, I got caught on the sidewall there inside. I, I, for a second, I thought it wasn't, or sorry, for a second, I thought it was going to be on target, and then it wasn't. Yeah. See, that's what I mean about boost control. I had no boost there, and I tried to pick up pads, but he placed it perfectly top corner. I don't know why he's going for this with no boost. Oh my god, it actually worked. We're fine. Damn. Oh, unfortunate game. Honestly, this car isn't bad, though. Even though I lost that game, I felt pretty comfortable in it. Just a few little mistakes here and there on fake challenges, and then, of course, boost control was a problem. Okay, we found another game really quick. Got Mr. Key. And he messed up his kickoff. So, nice little easy kickoff goal to start. Doing well on kickoffs to start the game. 
He's got a good dribble going. I'm gonna... Oof. Okay. He ended up getting that... That flick out pretty quick. He's in a breakout, so I gotta watch out for that. Wow, that little pop was actually such an interesting, like, mechanic. Landing underneath the ball again just... Holy, I flicked it to the sky. Oh my gosh, I couldn't get around it. Sometimes I swear I'm a plat. Like that. Like things like that, I'm like, what am I doing? There we go. Just took our time with that flick. This car, this car keeps it on top really easily. If that makes sense. I don't know, I just said that really weird. But yeah, like it's easy to keep the ball on top of your car in this flat car. I was going to say we're forcing him to panic, but then he actually made a really good play to keep that on his side. He ended up getting the boost steal here, so I gotta be careful on that. Try and pick up some pads. He doesn't have much boost here to work with. I didn't get the best clear in the world. I wanted to see if I could just quickly get it past him. Ah, oh, really good flick. This kid's really good at his flicks. He puts them on target. Alright, I can take my time here. I didn't get the best first touch on that. He just punished me for being out of position right there. Good challenge as well. I choked that. It's fine, he got in really bad position. It went off wall a bit, but it's fine. Got it right over him on that flick. Did just enough that I needed to. He won the kickoff. He might just go slow with it. I'll try and early challenge him, not give him space with the ball. And there we go. He got another really good kickoff. Yep. I had a feeling he was going to be able to do that well. I could have gone up underneath through the goal, but... And there we go. Got a really good touch. <coughs> oh, God, sorry. Just getting over a cold, so 
that cough is still nagging. I was going to say, though, I got a really good first touch off of that kickoff. Nice shot. Well done. I didn't actually think he'd have the mechanicals, like the mechanics for that, but well done on his part. That's the same thing I would have done. You know, probably not the best decision for with no boost to go for that ball. Wow, he got he got an incredible 50 on that. He got an incredible 50. Got a good kickoff. Just try and bang that on quick. He dealt with it well. I took his boost off of that. And he missed the ball. Didn't even get my half flip to work, but it's fine. I got time with the ball. I'll try an air dribble. Couldn't get the top of my car up. As soon as I saw him turn, I knew I could beat him to it. He should have rotated back knowing I was pushing that hard. Try and get a solid kickoff. And there we go. Got a good dub there. It demoted me from the last game, unfortunately, but... Because that's how Rocket League MMR works, is you lose more on one loss than you do on one win, than you gain on one win. Honestly, the Artemis GTX, pretty good car, I'm not even that mad. It handles really well in the air, and even on the ground, there's a lot of room on the top of the car for you to just hold that ball and dribble it around, and it flicks well. I, I was over flicking it a couple times, but overall... Pretty good car. It reminds me a lot of the Dominus, to be honest. But yeah, if you guys are ever looking for something different, a different type of car, try out the Artemis. It, it reminds me a lot, like I said, of the Dominus of those flat cars. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the first episode of Random Car Ring. Thank you guys so much for watching. H hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.